So we're right here at Sling Media at CES 2010. And uh, Sling is launching new products. What are those? Yes, well, so we have in, in this area here, we have some new products that we're launching, uh, at, we're announced at the show for uh, OEMs, which means basically TV service providers or consumer electronics OEMs, uh, if they want to basically enable play shifting for their customers. So the first of these is a new uh, sling box. This is it right here. You is can this see. a sling box? This is actually a sling box, and the way it works is you connect it via USB 2.0, into a uh, HD DVR or you know, satellite receiver yeah. or cable box, and that basically enables that it's HD DVR to box. have sling capability, basically That's to it. transmit video and stream video over uh, the local network of the internet. That's amazing. So this box was designed for ha perhaps how many years ago? Well, this Could box, like this a, is an EchoStar uh, VIP 722K, and uh, uh, EchoStar ships them to Dish Network, which gives them to their subscribers in North America. It's, uh, it's been around for a few years, so I think yeah. they have million, you know, millions of units of these. Uh, there in, are in their, millions here yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, please do not touch. I shouldn't touch, sorry. Yeah, we have a model. If you want to play with a model here, we have this here. You can, oh, yeah. you can, you can touch this, this one. It's, it's, a, so, it's but, a model. This is like crazy, it's like transparent. Yes. There's nothing in here. Yeah, so it's a very uh, uh, unique industrial design. Uh, and that's part of the part of the benefit of the product is it's very small. If you're familiar with their previous Slingbox products, they had a, a lot of video inputs and network inter inputs and power. And uh, with this Slingbox, all you need is USB. Everything is done over USB, it's bus powered. It's like 50 grams or whatever yeah. grams or however is this? Uh, I don't know the exact weight specification, but it's obviously pretty light. And uh, so it looks cool, so you just put it there and people think it's a cool design. Yeah, and then, then basically they you... put it on top or where yeah. they put it? Well, wherever the set customer wants to put it and then you, it streams video, uses the network connection of the set-top box yeah. itself. You can see this box is Ethernet connected right here. So this so. is the, the box that has been on the market yeah, for a while. That's and they, right. don't, they don't need to upgrade it. That's right. They don't need to add a firmware or that's something. Right. Well, there is some software integration to support this sling box with a given HD DVR. So it automatically updates the yeah. firmware on here. Yes. To support this. Yeah. And and then what you what you stream over this little machine, which is uh, right here, is not a normal USB plug, is it? Yes. Is yeah. it normal right here? Yeah, it's just standard yeah, USB. Program. Yes. Uh, yeah, not in this. You still pull it out in this model. But ah, it's not possible to put it. But but it, this is standard USB 2.0. But yeah. if you want, you can uh, use an extender. Is that still okay? Yeah, you could, yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you would like to hide it. Yeah, if you'd like to hide it more, <laughs> yes. <laughs> or it just depends who, who's designing the yeah, living that's, room. That's right. So. Um, and uh, what resolution does it stream? You can stream full up to full HD, so up to the 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. So it's a uh, full HD solution. It actually, what what this product really does is take audio video data off of the the uh, set top box and converts it into a format that we can stream in real time. In real time, so it's really doing transcoding and transrating in real time and uh, sending that video and audio data back to the set top box to stream over your over your home network. And the name of this? The Slingbox 700U. 700 U. 700 euro. Yeah. U. Yes. And how much will it cost? Something like this? Is well, that's sold to end users or not really? It's not, it's not a retail product. It will okay. be distributed by TV service providers uh, like Dish Network, who announced they're going to ship this in Q2 2010, yeah. and uh, they'll decide the pricing on that. So, yeah. but that hasn't been announced yet. So, if you have a Wi-Fi that has a DHCP, uh, what's it called, uh, networking? Yes. Like where? And, you, how do you enter the WPA password, for example? Well, it, it'll use your existing home network, so whether you have a wired or wireless home network, that yeah. doesn't doesn't really matter, right? It's how, however, th this has no wireless built in, it just connects over USB. And, and then this, the set-top box itself, however it's connected, you could do hardwired Ethernet, you could do home plug turbo, you could use an Ethernet to wireless bridge, it doesn't really matter, so right? This is this box is actually doing the sending of the data when yeah. it comes out of it again. Yeah. That's so right. it just goes through and come back. That's right. In real time. Yeah. No delays. No delays. I have new milliseconds, no? That's right. There's, there's, it's, it's in real time conversion. That's right. Yeah, and there's no audio sync errors. Well, of it's course, they, yeah, we can't tolerate any audio no. video sync problems. No. That's right. So you can encode in real time uh, the bit rate that's required by the end user to continuously stream and yes. buffer and all that. Yeah, you can see that in our Pro Sling Box products today. We'll have the yeah. same kind of quality, although this should be even better because we're not doing any analog to digital conversions, right? It's like really? directly, directly out of the box and streamed uh, to your 
player, which could be a PC or a mobile phone or other so embedded players that we, we sell. There's no analog encoder involved. Yeah, because you're taking digital data out of the box, right? Yeah. And uh, converting that versus uh, what we do in our retail sling boxes is actually yeah. take audio video data analog. in analog form yeah. out of the box and then re-encode that, right? Yeah. So change it back to digital form, re-encode that and stream it, right? Before it was a composite or S-video mostly, right? Or right? component, yeah. How about com uh, component as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. But now it's just D digital. Digital com video. Uh, is there like a more powerful processor? Are you saying anything about how fast it is or something? No, we are not disclosing who, what processor is in there, but basically yeah. it's a video, a sling engine, you know, a chip that is the sling engine for this. Uh, set top box, so it's a kind of a co-processor processor for this box. But it's got to be super powerful to do 1080p encoding in real time and with variable bit rates, and uh, you can even downscale the, the, the resolution uh, in needed, real time. Yeah, if needed, it's quite capable in that it can. Uh, and uh, you can uh, you can watch it on any Sling player. That's right. That's right. And are there are there any new Sling players? Well, this will, in the case of Dish Network, uh, you, you would uh, be able to play uh, this on, on by Dish Remote Access, which has a basic a web browser plugin on a PC. We have some other new players here, yes. Um, so this here is a, a new product we announced also for OEMs. It's called the Wi-Fi Monitor. So this product basically is a wireless television you can use uh, to bring TV into a room in your house where you don't have a TV already. So for example, uh, in my case, in my kitchen, I spend a lot of time in my kitchen, but I have no television in there. So what I can do is just take this, plug it into the power in my kitchen. Just power. Yeah, and then it connects to my home wireless network. The product has uh, embedded uh, dual band 802.11 and wireless. Okay. So it connects to my home network. Uh, and then it connects to the box here with the sling box. This system? Yeah, this system or any other box that has any other sling, sling? sling enabled. Yeah. yeah. And then you can stream high definition video. It's a 15 in, uh, inch display, 720p display. So it can stream uh, video to that. Uh, to this product and let you watch your any all of your content for your DVR. Encore HD, so it's HD. And, yeah. Uh, what is this, this is screen size? Uh, it's 15.5 inch displays, yeah. in, which is 720p resolution. 15 on, just 15 inch. Yeah. Well, it's a small display so because yeah. it's portable. It's, it it's looks bigger. Maybe it's just my eyes. Yeah. It's a little bigger than your average laptop display, I think. So it gives you a better experience than trying to watch this on a laptop. Because it's a wide wide screen. Yeah. That's right. And uh, so it's good at home, but. You can take the screen anywhere in the world and watch. Uh, it, initially, it's focused on the local network only, so it's not an out-of-home product yet. But there's no reason why we couldn't do that in the future, right? So, uh, and you can see the product itself has a uh, user interface, which with a complete uh, program guide. Uh, so, for example, if I want to see uh, all the content that's on, I can just. Uh, Did you get this remote? Yeah. Super see, nice remote. Yeah. And I can I can navigate here and see everything that's on. The, by set top box that's, that's being recorded there. Yeah, yeah. That's available live or recorded. So, so this that's, that's also something you, you transcode with this, the recorded yeah. stuff? Yes. All you record. also do that? Yeah, correct. So you transcode everything yeah. that goes through? Yes. And, and what are the minimum and maximum bit rates and all that? Uh, so within the home network to do it HD, you know, you need a probably minimum you would want would be uh, two megabits, and then it can go up to eight or nine megabits on the high end of things, which would be you know very very high quality. So two megabits image. you can already do full HD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need two megabit upload for full HD. Yeah. And if you don't, if you only have one megabit, what does it do then? Well, we we are, again our streaming algorithm. Uh, we have some algorithms we use to see how big your pipe is, basically how much bandwidth you have available, and we can do things like change the resolution of the picture to go to standard definition so that it will, the goal is to have a smooth streaming if experience, right? If the kids right? start downloading on BitTorrent, yeah, yeah. you uh, automatically? Yeah, but keep in mind, on the local network, uh, you're not as limited as like we would be with DSL over the internet, right? So in people, your local network, if you have 802.11g or 802.11n, usually you can get decent uh, throughput, right? Because it's only streaming over the local network. So you encode also 720p, or between 720p and 1080p, there's no resolution that you encode in, it's just... Yeah, we, the, we do the, the full resolution, yeah, you but do, the, there are different... How many different grades, you don't say? Uh, we haven't, you can look at our retail products and okay. see, actually, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but it yeah. starts, I think, at you know 1080i and goes down to QVGA. QVGA? QVGA would be for mobile clients, right? Just 200 something or Yeah, that'd be for a, a internet experience, right, if you're on okay. traveling and you want to access your oh, 3G sling from home, right, 3G, yeah, yeah. Super nice. Okay, so there's no price in this, right? Uh, again, it'd be uh, available through Dish Network. This product, Dish Network in the U.S., has announced this product for their subscribers. Did they announce the price? 
they haven't announced pricing yet. Yeah. Good, thanks.